Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. That's kind of what I'm hoping will go on in there, and then I want more of these so that I can do things with them. So uh, let's go in here, and I want to attack them. The hatch right there, attack that one, hatch, attack. Go here and attack all of these hatches that we've got. Attack that one there. Take it on that one. Take that one on as well. Right. Clear a load of them out. There's another one there. Attack that one. It is the purge. We are purging the hatches. We do not want any hatches left in here anymore. Slaughter the lot. No more hatches. Yeah, you come along and you get the food now. So I've got a whole load of requests to do in here. You are erupting in 10 cycles. You're not erupting yet. Water is slowly beginning to pump around the system again properly how we would want. That has emptied out completely. How did that even happen? How is... I don't understand. How is that emptied... It's only 100 degrees in there. How has that managed to empty out 100% completely? It's got no water... There's no water left in here at all. It doesn't absorb it. It doesn't take it away. That is slightly ridiculous how that has happened. I don't understand. I genuinely do not understand how that could have happened. Uh, I'm going to remove those two over there. I'm a bit concerned about this. That's, that's a lot of um, water has suddenly vanished. I think I may need to actually bring back my sensors and everything that I had in here previously. Yeah, see, that's why you've got to do that. You, you've got to... There's a bit of water coming in, and you're going to naturally remove the floor from under you. Okay, now I can take that all the way back over to that side. The steam is now able to rise up and help us out over here. Once all of this has been removed, there's only going to be a little bit of ice that will flow down over that side. So most of it is going to drop down in here. That's what I want, anyway. Uh, tile, I'm going to do that just to help make sure that it doesn't drop down here, but what's it doing now? There. Right, we've got some water going in here. That is helping the situation a bit. The steam is coming down here. There's a lot, lot of water coming in. The steam is coming up. It's, it's something to do with the pressure that was in there. There's suddenly a lot of water gone in here. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Right, manual airlock. Drop a manual airlock in there. Maybe it was to do with the pressure. Maybe the pressure was related to it. I don't know. I'm going to drop those into there and that one. So that they can be brought up and they can be used. I've got coal up there that we are going to be using. I'm going to go with the base in here. Ladder. That one's going to go up like that. And then I can dig out here. Those. That one up there. Should be able to dig out that lot over to there like that. And those two there. That's all of that coal removed. Should make life a little bit easier in there. There's still a little tiny bit of coal in there that I can go and get. I may very well go back to that. And here I've got supplies of gold and copper building up in here. You're erupting in point 0.2 and point 0.4. So those we're just going to leave. We're not going to get involved with. In here, I want to now remove that one and that one. Uh, you erupt in 9.8 cycles. I've still got digging and stuff going on up there. Plus, I've got a whole load of building work going on on this side over here as well. Uh, base, manual airlock, which needs to go in there. Like that. To replace that bit. Oh, wait. 
No. That's no good. I, I can't. Ha no, I can't have you. You, I need to cancel you. That's no good there. We, uh, this, this is wrong. I've, I've got this wrong. Right, that one's going to have to stay out there. And what I'm going to need to do instead is we go to base and I will go to insulated tile there and there like that. Uh, yeah, I I'll do it like that for a minute because i got to block this up again so that it can go one deep in here. We're, we're, we're going to have to change that around. It's, it's slightly pressurized in here. That, that's, that's, things have got to change in here. It is a bit hot in there for them. That's not good. But they don't take they they, it, they don't seem to do too bad in there. With with it, with the terrible heat, they don't seem to do too bad. Right, that's now cleared that bit. So then I can go over here and I can remove those and I can put a new insulated tile down there like that. So there's a step in the right direction. And don't need to change anything else. They can just take those out. Yeah, you're doing that. You're doing fine. And then I need you to come in here and build that one. And you can also build a manual airlock on there like that. So that I've got a bit of lip in here. Is that going to be sufficient? No, it's not. Cancel it. I need to go up high. I, I really didn't plan this very well. Really, really didn't plan this very well, so I'll just take that up a little bit higher. I can have that one building in there, and I can build another insulated tile there. I don't need to worry about any more of them for a minute. Drop all the way down here, having a look at this. I've not... That's not ready yet. This is filled up almost to the brim. So that bit in there is absolutely fine. We, we got no issues with that. I'm going to need to do some automation. I've got, I've got an idea with some automation. I want to be able to bring that with automation and have that as, like, the, the top limit. Uh, I don't want shipping at the moment. I want automation. I want Atmo hy Hydro Sensor there. Overheat temperature plus 50. What is the overheat temperature? All right, it says plus 50. It doesn't tell me what the overheat temperature is. That's not very good. I need to know what the overheat temperature is so that I, I can know if it's going to be any good being installed in here. Because I don't really want to have to do it manually, but I don't want that water any more than two tiles deep. More than two tiles doesn't work for me. Not for what I got planned. Uh, no, I, uh, I want to remove those three like that. So we'll keep this in here. They have now finished doing that bit up there. So I can go along and... Uh, no, dig. I need to dig. Right, we'll have to dig two of those out there. You're digging stuff in here. And I've got to dig that back slowly. This is all steaming up in here because I've opened it up in underneath. And so that's going to massively increase the temperature all the way around, which is not particularly helpful for me. We can build you in here, and I think they can climb up too. Manual airlock. Just in case they can't, though, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to drop a piece of ladder. I'll uh, do another piece of ladder in there. Right. Just like that. Always the first one. So I need you to go up on there and take that one out as well. And then once you've taken that one out, then uh, I've got most of that uncovered all the way down through. You've still got nine cycles before you're going to do anything at all. All the water here is just running down through. So no worries on any of that in there. I've got printables available. I know I'm just choosing to ignore that at the moment. Uh, I will get to it. I'm just ignoring it. I'm just pretending it's not there. Right, this is all 30 odd degrees. We've got loads of carbon dioxide in here. 0.6 and 0.9. You've got a little bit before your Judah erupts, but you will get there soon-ish. What else did I have? I can't remember what other ones I had. I had another copper volcano down there, which I'm choosing to ignore for a minute. I think what I really need to do is I need to dig down. I need to go down by a very long way. i got a water geyser there. And I think that is actually just pumping out a load of water now. 
So I might as well get a pump down in there and I could make use of that. Add that into the whole water system that we've got. I mean, the water system here is now working. And it is actually pumping water through. I got dirty water coming in. I got clean water coming in. They all seem to be doing what I want them to do. Now, how about you? I build one more bit of base in there, I think. Just just to make that just to make that right. And then we'll go into here and I'll take two more of those off. Just want you to like come along here and, and if I can remove all of that, the temperature like the, the temperature grate, I mean it's still not brilliant with the whole temperature thing. Right, that's that's something that I do have a slight problem with here is the, the, the temperature. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can't reach that from the ground. I gotta get it from here. They're picking up slime. We're running a bit of water over. Wait, what is that? That's cultivable. Ooh, I got a soil in there. I had no idea. Right. Grab that lot. We definitely want that. Uh go with the base. Go with the ladder, pop that up there, um, dig those two out and I'll be able to dig the other bits out um, that was very very fast, I have at least got the water in here but this is this is doing stuff really quickly, we're, we're, we're changing this up, right I'm just going to pause that a second, I want to go to the plumbing over there, i got liquid pipe, we've got salt water brine in here i got all kinds of nonsense coming in there so we're pumping up a load of that down here i'm very quickly getting rid of the brine in here and then it's just going to go with the polluted water now the polluted water is great and all except that it does fill everything up and it's it's, it's just not so good so i got loads of salt in here i need to dig Dig that lot out and that one there, just to start off with. If we can dig some of those, I, I do have to keep a bit of an eye on this one. We've got the, the extra temperatures and that in here, and it is going to make things difficult for us. I don't know how to, I think there is, ooh. Can you dig or is it just a sleepy dock thing that automates all of this? Not entirely sure. I think that's just the sweep. You know, that is going to have to be changed yet again. I need... That's got to go higher so it stops pouring it out over here. Which means that I've got to insulated tile up there like that and put that one across. So I want to put ladder up those two steps right there. And I'm going to leave the rest of it for a minute until that's built. And then we'll go in from the top and we'll do the rest of that. I just need you guys to come in here and dig up this bit. And then I got a load of salt that we need to use up. And more digging to be done over there. But this does mean that everything is working as we would like. Consumable oil, uh, oil or 26 tons of coal in there. I've got more water here. I've got water here. I've, I've literally got everything that we could possibly want right now. And if I go into the plumbing overlay, you can see right here, we're pumping up a load of brine. I've got various water and liquids pouring back into here. But there's no more brine going in. So the, whilst the brine is coming into here, and it is causing us an issue or two, it's, it's not the end of the world. Gen turbine's too hot, generator idle. It's not doing anything at the moment. So I've still got to cool all of this down. Now that is 60 degree water there. So I'm just wondering if I can make a slight alteration to the plumbing on this. If I go there a second and I remove that piece of plumbing there, right? I've got all of these people in here. They're picking up dirt because that's got a higher priority than anything else and I got a whole load of dirt I don't know where the dirt has come from whether it's come from boiling the polluted water or something it might have actually been boiling the polluted water that done it right there we go so that bit has now been sliced off 
Next, I want to go back into the plumbing and I want the radiant pipe here. So that is gold, that is iron on there. I'm going to take the gold pipe here. And this is 60 degrees. The background temperature here is 150 degrees. So we really need to bring that down. So if I go with a radiant pipe and I bring this from here. And I bring that up like this there. That's going to go up to that point. It will run across. I can go to four high on this. And I'll take that all the way over to there. Back this way. Over there. Back over this way. Up, down, like that. And then pop it into that pipe there. That means that we're going to have a whole load of cooling pipe that's going to be sucking some of that heat out of that bit right there, which is definitely going to help. Now, there's loads and loads of dirt in here, which they are going for. I've got... Why is that pipe? What's wrong with that pipe there? Is that because it's too hot? I think that's because it's too... I think we've got... Yeah, we have. We've got heat damage coming in here. Temperature overlay. Everything is way too hot in here. We've got to work on this. Now, I've got some radiant pipe in there that we can... That is... It's boiling in the pipe. It's 100... It's 200 degrees. It's literally boiling in the pipe right now. How is it that hot? This is really, really bad news. We, we, they, they've got to hurry up and get all of this done. If they can't hurry... We, we've dug all of this out. I'm, I need them to get through. We, we cannot have this boiling in the pipe. That's no good to us at all. Uh, 60 degrees. This is like 40 degrees in here. And then I've got a bit of salt liquid down in here. But that's, that's going to be sucked out of there. 38, 40 odd degrees in here. Yeah, that's that's all right in there. That bit in there is fine. I've just I, I got plenty of people in here with suits doing loads of work. We're bringing in granite. You're not delivering in the other stuff yet. There, right. I've now sealed that bit, which means that I can next go here and remove that and that one. I also need to take a ladder and do a double ladder up to there. And I need to remove that door. That's my next two jobs. And what they'll be doing is they're going to go up here and then down in here. That's going to be the only way that I can do this. Right, you can go like that. And I can take an insulated tile. I can pop one there and I can pop one there. Hopefully we can cool things down a little bit if you can work your way through all of this. And that one's out. And then I can go to a ladder and drop that one in there. So that will join in as well. And I also need to have another manual airlock. That one's going to go up there. I'll keep that. I, I Actually, it's not going to hurt to have like that bit in there just as a, an extra piece. And i got two other bits. And then i got the heat damage going on here. That will change once I get the radiant pipe moving. But the radiant pipe is not moving yet. So we've got all this steam in here with this massive temperature overload that we've got going on. Which is not helpful. That's, that's really not helpful. I need this one to cool down so that we can start using it. But I mean, if we look in here, that's actually all backed up now. That's... But mostly backed up, actually. If we have a look at the plumbing overlay, that is looking a lot better. It is it is backed up onto this one, and it's heading down the other one as well. So it, it's doing everything that it is supposed to do in here. Now, you down this side, you're still not working. Your t steam temperature is too low. This is just not ready to cooperate with us yet. Um, so that will get there. This water here is doing fine at the moment, although we could probably do with a bit more in there. Um, generally speaking, that's fine. And this one here is doing all right. Then all the way down here, this is where the majority of the dirt is going all the way down here. Uh, it's awaiting dirt deliveries. Quite frankly, this is just taking a really long time. And fertilizer, I don't have any fertilizer. I need a fertilizer manufacturing thing. 
And that's something I haven't even got round to building yet. I wonder if I can get fertilizer out of here. We've got a blueprint for fertilizer. I got Dreklet nymph egg. I'll take a Dreklet print. Right there. Right. Research complete. Kill the little baby Dreklet. We got the mini liquids in there. So I'll go back into research and I'm working my... I'm basically just sort of working my way down through the researches now. I'm not doing anything in particular. Uh... Unless there's something that can help me generate more power. What do we got? Arcade cabinet. Duplicate checkpoint. Virtual planetariums. No, 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 no. Glass blowing. Jet suits. No. Uh, what are you? Oxalite refinery. Soda fountain. Molecular forge. Micro targeting medicines. Solid transports, we've got conveyor rails, bridges, conveyor receptacles, bunker door, bunker tile. Can withstand extreme pressure and impacts. Glass forge. Conveyor chute. Alright, well that one could be handy. There's another big old system that we can bring in for that one, which I, I don't really know how we're going to make that work, but... Um, We'll worry about that at some point. I just don't know when. And here I have got my stone hatch farm. Which is actually doing quite well now. I got 11 in the top one. So we're getting a nice lot of coal out of all that. Step ladder. That's all completed in there. These are building. We've now got them bringing over the gold to do the radiant pipe construction. That's going to connect up all the way through this system. You could hurry up and bring that over. We've got some ladders and buildings and algaes and stuff in here. You've still got six cycles before it changes. 320 degrees. The great thing about this is as soon as we can get it working, everything will start to cool down. But at the moment, the generator is much too hot. I am wondering if maybe we could use that generator... And hook it up with that anti-entropy thermo nullifier. We've got to get a supply of hydrogen to run that thing. We've, we've got another one as well. There is another one elsewhere. Um, so I'm seriously considering doing that. But at the moment, I'm... I, I don't know. I, I, I genuinely don't know at the moment whether or not we want to do that. I will just remove you. So there's a little bit more dirt that we can use. That sandstone up there. That's, that's nothing else that I want. Uh, that's lots and lots of algae going all the way up there. Right, I'm aware I keep saying I've got this thing that I want to go and do and then I'm not doing it. I want to make those. I want to improve on the rooms that the um, dudes have got in here. I want to give them all individual bedrooms and bathrooms and stuff like that. And I keep saying I'm going to do it and I haven't gotten around to it yet because I'm sort of focusing on that bit there and... Also, I've been looking at this over here, this gold volcano. This, at the moment, we're just not producing any steam over here. I'm hoping that that will eventually change. Like, we've got 0.2 cycles on this one. And I'm keeping everything cool up there. 60-odd degrees in this room. It's, yeah, 19 degrees up there. Oh, you know, I'm thinking that maybe we should change those tiles over. If I was to go in here to the base, insulated tiles, and insulate all of that, that might just... It just to help with keeping the temperature right in there. Mostly, though, what I want is I want them bringing in the gold in over here. And they don't seem keen to do that. I have... Oh! Right, we've got more of them delivering coal now. If they can keep doing that... Right, this... They've delivered quite a few bits of coal. And yeah, they've got to come back and they've got to repair these pipes as well. But uh, there's construction errands that are waiting on there. Heat damage, more heat damage. It's going to keep going with the heat damage until I've completed this pipe here. So if you could just come in and complete all the radiant pipe all the way round, that means that we will stop with this ridiculous heat damage. And instead, we will just be pumping water into here and it will be turning into steam. And it will be removing the excess temperature because that turbine there, 
the overheat temperature of that turbine is right there. A thousand degrees. No, it's not. It's already telling me it's overheating and it's way lower than a thousand. Right, that's a mini gas pump there. And I've also got a ah, mini liquid pump there. All right. Mini liquid pump seems like it'd be quite a useful thing. I don't know if I want to... I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I, I've, I've got these. If, if Just just build in these like one there. Is, yeah, he's, oh, he's doing it. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Right, plumbing overlay. Let's have a look. We've got heat damage coming through this pipe here. Uh, that is heat damaging really badly in there, but... The water that's running in behind it is already lowering the temperature of that pipe quite considerably. And boom! Instantly. Right, we've all... We've, that was pretty quick, that was, to run through there and change that temperature over. That was very, very fast to run in and change that temperature over. Let's have a look in here. I've got more radiant pipe, and that's 90 degrees in here. And then I've got polluted, and then we've got clean water that runs out of that bit. So it sort of, it, it cycles through like this. Some comes out of that one, and some comes out of this one. And that is now, that's maxed out on there as well. This is fantastic. It's not so hot that it's causing damage. It We've got a little bit of damage on there, but not so much that it's causing problems. And we've all, everything's already cooled down up here. The temperature of the water as it's coming up is 50 degrees. By the time it's getting over to here, it's at 85 degrees. So we are sucking the temperature out of there, which means that this steam up here, that's going to start to cool things down in a little while. That's three... Wait, what's wrong here? Generator idle, not enough steam, steam temperature... Oh! That's because we got oxygen up here. That's why that is. I got oxygen in here. That's over pressure. So what I need to do is I need to remove that one. No, I don't. No, no. I go here and have an airflow tile. But that's got to be a priority 9 airflow tile. There, like that. Right. Do that as a priority 9. I need them to come in round and do that. You in here. I can just dig up those there just to keep that running. And they'll keep working on repairing those. You're coming up here, delivering a bit in here. Overpressure idle in 0.2. I'm quickly changing that one over, and boom, there goes the airflow tile, and it's allowed to erupt. So it's got no gas left in here now. It's got a little bit. The gas should go out this way. Unfortunately, the gas is also pouring out over this side as well. That The steam is rushing out there. At 200 degrees. So there's a little pocket of hydrogen in there. Which is not very helpful. And I don't know what to do about that. Because this in here is like 400 degrees in here. So I'm going to go back now and go to insulated tile in there. And that's well, unfortunately that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.